Monkey Ace and Heli Pilot are the only two flying towers in the game. Well, besides Wizard Phoenix, the aircraft carrier, the little sun god planes, and uh, this, uh, this little this bird thing. But that's not important. Today, we're talking about the Monkey Ace and the Heli Pilot, the two iconic flying towers and balloons tower defense. The most distinguishable feature about these two towers is the way they move. You place down a heli pilot and it will just follow your mouse around, allowing you to lead it directly to the balloons for ultimate popping power. Whereas the monkey ace just does whatever he wants. Look at him go. He just does figure eights. He goes around in circles. He doesn't care where the balloons are. He's just flying to have a good time. Why in the world would I ever buy bombs on a monkey plane if he's never even gonna be around the track? So today, friends, we're hiring a new monkey pilot. A monkey pilot that's gonna follow my cursor wherever I tell him to go. He now works just like a heli pilot, and he will actually just follow my mouse around. So we go ahead, follow mouse. He's gonna look, he just follows my mouse around. Huge shout out to Timothy for the mod, and today we're gonna see how much this actually changes the plane. All right, let's just get it started right off the bat i mean i love that i can just look at this i can literally just i can just put him right here oh my gosh he's so good he's already so much better he's pretty fast too he's just like i wonder is i don't know if there's a way i can make him faster but i definitely think we want to get the exploding pineapple right oh my gosh wait look if i don't move my mouse at all and he just stands there he drops pineapples so fast but if he moves he doesn't drop them that fast Whoa, wait, is that like a glitch? If Look, if he's not moving, he just constantly drops pineapples. That's such a weird thing, but I'm, I'm here for it. We're also going to be going and getting a paragon. We're going to be getting the Goliath Doomship and having the Goliath Doomship just follow our mouse around as well. Because, you know, why not? Biplane, let's just get the bomber race. So now look at this. We can literally just drop. Look at this. That's so good. Wait, wait. Rat, lots more darts. Well, we don't care about centered path. Wait, what happens if we just... Oh my gosh, look. We can just put it on pursuit. That's so good. I love this. Now we just have a monkey ace that just literally follows the balloons. And is just constantly dropping a mirage of bombs on these clowns. We're going to have to get the Goliath Doomship Paragon. I'm starting to understand why Ninja Kiwi thought it was probably a good idea to not have it have pursuit. But what if we just lock it in place right there? He's one of those new super high-end planes. You know, the ones that can just hover in place. I mean, even if we just patrol points, look at this, just have it go back and forth. Bomb damage increased significantly. Yeah, that's gonna be really nice to have. We're making banana farms. Banana farms, banana farms, yeah. This is a superior monkey ace, okay? I don't think it matters too, too much with some other ones, like never miss targeting and stuff. It's still really nice. Here, well, let's just get it. I mean, we're gonna need all three of the planes anyways. Rapid fire, lots more darts, fire plane, nice. I think all of them need exploding pineapple. I like how some of them like fly sideways and they're like, whoa, they have no idea what to do with themselves. We should have enough money here to get ourselves the village. So we can put our village right here just so that way we can make dummy shmoney Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to put as many banana farms around this as I thought I'll still be able to put a decent amount. Are we gonna be able to pop up Moab? Oh my gosh We just Okay, we didn't destroy the Moab. All right. We are pretty whoa. Are we okay here? We might need to start thinking about getting some upgrades here I think we can just go ahead and get an operation dart storm having an operation dart storm always directly on top of the balloons is kind of insane it just follows the balloons at all times so it's directly on top of them shooting it which makes it so much better this one bottom path never miss targeting and then also exploding pineapples because we need exploding pineapples on all of them i'd like to get t4s honestly specter seems a little expensive i kind of want to just get ground zero because if ground zero, let's, ooh, do we, all right, we're doing okay. I'm going to get one banana research facility while we're, while we're chilling, you know? And now we can save up and get ground zero. Ground zero is just going to constantly just drop bombs on them. I want all of them to go back to follow mouse. Now, look at this. They just follow my mouse. I got a squadron. I got an army of planes that just, this makes them so much stronger. This is so good. Would you guys want the planes to react like this? Hit the like button if you guys want planes to actually just work like this in normal balloons. I don't see anything wrong or overpowered with this in the slightest. I feel that I can just have all of my stuff here and it still pops them, but the bombs are really nice. I can't wait to see what the Goliath Doom ship can do. 
I can't wait to have that much power in the palm of my hands. I'm gonna go ahead and just buy myself a Spectre. Oh, look at, oh, look at, oh, the Spectre with Pursuit is gnarly. We're gonna need to get about a million dollars. We're gonna put down this Time Master. Fun, like, little fact, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you might enjoy this. So most of the time, the Time Master, when you skip rounds, will give you bonus money, right? Well, previously, the Time Master didn't, didn't give you money for things like Merchantmen. But, as you can see, he actually does give money for Merchantmen. So if we're gonna skip rounds, getting higher grade banana farms, such as things like Central Market is actually worth it now. Because now, look at this, you can skip rounds and make just tons of money. Like, look at how fast this makes money. It's really, really cool. Oh my gosh, we're, wait, we're already up at 85. I got too excited. I was skipping rounds too fast. All right, let's go ahead. Well, let's get Sarbomba. We can get Sky Shredder, and then we could also just get Flying Fortress. All okay, right, we're going to make so much money that I want to get a really high degree Paragon. I would love to get close to 100. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I think it's doable, especially for Goliath Doomship. We need to get a total of 16 million pops. Sarbomba really doesn't do that much damage. I would I would expect it to do more damage of all the bombs. Look what is happening down here! It's what I, I wasn't really paying attention. That's 1.5 million pops. We need more pops. We also need more money to donate to it, but that's okay, because I can go up to like 140 here, and then we can just use our big boost are we gonna be okay here yes yeah, two million five hundred thousand these all have like a hundred thousand pops each so that's not too bad but man the mon this monkey ace the flying fortress are, is going to be our main source of getting pops right i really should focus on getting more planes though i'm so glad when you upgrade it to specter it automatically just goes down and starts attacking like it just gets pursuit on it and i don't have to do that manually five million pops i think it's 16 million pops which is a lot of pops we might not be able to get to 16 million but we can definitely do our best to be able to get this because I want to get as strong as possible Goliath Doomship. That has a million pops. We can actually get Bottom Path. We can get Carrier Flagship, which boosts all of these, which makes all of these have... Oh my God! DDTs are getting crazy. DDTs are getting crazy. DDTs are going crazy. We might lose here in a little bit, but that's okay. 600,000 pops, 8 million. 1.6. Oh man, it's close. Oh my gosh, these DDTs are devastating. They're so scary! Oh gosh, no. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, you know what I also have is I have the monkey boost. So we can actually here, like, we can just send this. Look at this. I can just do this, which increases their attack speed even more. So we're at round, we're at round 166, I just realized. That is insanity. At the end of this round, we will, we will turn it into the Paragon and we will have a flying Goliath Doomship the highest possible level I can get it that I can think of. Also, do I have enough money to sacrifice to it? I should. There's no way it's going to cost more than, what, four million or something? Let's just see if we can we, it'll take all of our money. But I think, here, I really hope, all right, I'm going to sell everything. I'm selling everything. Let's sell, I don't need the monkey buccaneer. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Okay, that's 3.7 million. It's still gonna take all of my money. Wow, I didn't have enough money for that? It doesn't matter. All right, let's see what we get. Hopefully, hopefully it's in like the high 80s. Hopefully. 91, okay, not bad. Not bad, it's not 100, but it's still good. Okay, so we can, oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. Let's. No, it doesn't. That is so good. Get down, get down, banana monkey. Okay, I love this. I love this so much. All right, let's. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. He doesn't even look at him. He doesn't even need to look at him. All right, let's put it on pursuit. All right, the final test. Let's see if it can go up against round 200. We just skipped so many rounds as well. Oh, it's annihilating him. Look at this, 24 million pops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Bombs! Come on, bombs. Oh, my gosh. I sent too many rounds. Wait, we're already at 201? What is happening? Oh, gosh. Come on! No! 